Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making the most requested video, a creamy pasta. You see this, this is my cheat day, any day, let's go. So yeah, let's get right into it guys. Okay, so first things first, we can't have a creamy pasta without the pasta. I use a uh, penne pasta, I don't know why. I think it's aesthetically pleasing. But yeah, and then I have here my uh, chicken fillets. I diced them up, I put it in two. And then I have here a cup of cheese. I mean, cheese. <laughs> and cheese. Then I have 125 ml of um, cream. And then I've got porta bellini mushrooms. Porta bellini mushrooms, yes. 125 ml of that. And then I have my onion here. And then some garlic. And then some seasoning. You can use whatever seasoning you like, but yeah, this slaps for me. So yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so I have my melted butter here. I'm just gonna add my chicken. And I'm just going to brown it a bit. And just cook that up. Okay, I love butter. You know how I feel about butter. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna add in my Religiously, salt, teaspoon, salt. and then I don't know. I'm in love with chicken stock now, so I literally use it for everything. Let's add a bit of stock in there. Oh. Some garlic flakes. And then this zesty lemon and herb chicken sauce from Robinson. This, this also slaps. I don't need to put a lot. Let me just stick that up. Mm. And you're not trying to overcook black chicken because it's, it's gonna get hot. It, it doesn't have any fat in it. So you're just gonna cook that up and then you're gonna put it aside. Ooh, got some big herb in it. Ooh, yum. Okay, I'm basically making um, for two, so I'll put in two chicken um, fillets and just dice it up quickly and then I'm going to add some garlic. Yeah. And yeah. Also, don't undercook it because you're not trying to die or get salmonella. Oh, this smells so delicious, you guys. Okay. So I basically just sear that. And then I'm going to pop it back. And then just let that chill. And now with all the juices left behind, we're gonna add our onion in there and just saute that until it's like translucent. Mushrooms. 
So we just crochet those until the mushrooms are not cooked and soft. Also, again, do not wash your mushrooms. Don't do that. Okay, so our mushrooms and onion is not cooked. And we're gonna add in some cream. This is an important uh, ingredient in this recipe because we want a creamy pasta. You know, so we're just gonna let that cook. Um, Alright! We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost there. Alright, now we're gonna add our cheese. Um, I like to use like a normal cheese instead of parmesan because I don't like the smell of parmesan. It, it puts me off a bit. So I'm just gonna use some normal cheese and let that melt. And then that's gonna bring it to that creamy texture. As you can see, it's already thickening. And that's what we want. Thick, salty salt. Oh, look at that. could just dive in there. Get creamy, cheesy, cheesiness. Okay, so we're going to add our chicken back in. Woo! Guys, I cannot wait to pick it. We're gonna add our chicken. Mix it all up so those flavors can combine. Oh. Look at that. Sauce. I'm so good. Jokes. <laughs> okay, now that we've combined all of that, penny penny. In you go. See, this is quick. Easy. <coughs> One, two, three. And then we combine everything together. Oh, guys. I literally just want to eat. Can you hear that? <laughs> so we're going to combine that. And then we're literally almost done. Okay, now I'm just gonna add in my parsley just for color. I mean, you don't have to, but it is. <laughs> oh, guys. Just mix that up. And we are done. Creamy chicken and mushroom penne pasta. my creamy chicken and mushroom pasta please make sure you like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys next time i love you so much bye stay safe